Well, fighting crime while fighting for room. Council Bluffs police officers are crammed into a building half the size they need. Now the police chief is asking taxpayers for help. KETV News Watch 7's Melissa Fry is live at Council Bluffs Police Headquarters. Well, there are more police officers handling more cases with less space. The building you see behind me can't even handle the proper computer updates, and that's a problem for the Council Bluffs police chief and city leaders. Watch your step as you squeeze inside the Council Bluffs Police Department. This used to be a dark room. Officers make do, but the public doesn't because they don't feel comfortable. Meeting a witness that wants to remain confidential, you have to meet them someplace else. Police Chief Tim Carmody shows us the overflow of files, the fight for space. Uh, it's not fully staffed right now. There's, we're missing a couple people. The bathrooms shared with bike racks and evidence that isn't passed through lockers anymore. We had to close them off because there's no room on the other side to access that stuff. Chief Carmody has one example after another. The squad room we have downstairs, you may have someone on one side of the table processing evidence and somebody else on the other side eating their dinner. There is no cyber lab, no space to test all of the drugs and fluids found at crime scenes. Our crime lab is, is a converted kitchenette. That's where Casey Gisler works. If there are more than one suspects or victims, we have to prevent cross contamination so we can use that for some of it, but the rest of it we have to put either in this smaller uh, cabinet that you can see or on the floor. We put a lot of butcher paper down and we're very careful. Without compromising the case, Council Bluffs police officers go out of their way in an inefficient way to do what we ask them to do more than a thousand times a week respond to the public in need. Well, now Chief Carmody says they are in need of new space, and Mayor Matt we Walsh supports that request. Now is the time to move forward. Um, we'll try to structure it the most economical and affordable way for the taxpayer. Tonight, Council Bluff City Council is meeting to discuss this issue, possibly hiring a firm to assess the needs of the police department and what they would need for a new building. Of course, that topic, that issue, would go before the public and would need to be approved by public voters. Reporting live at the Council Bluffs Police Department, Melissa Fry, KETV, Newswatch 7.